Good morning children. As in the previous class we have already discussed about the classification of plants. Today we are going to begin with the plants classification based on their appearance of their lifespan. That means we are going to study about the plants which are annual, biennial and perennial. And this is what depends upon the life cycle or the life longevity of a plant. So the first one that we are going to start with is the annual plants. Annual plants that means whose life is just for one season. The plant that lives for one season and the life cycle of such plants completes in the single season right from the seed germination to the flowering and fruiting. Apart from this you would notice that such plants they flower in the summer. Okay? So that means they some of the time they flower during the summer or during the winter that means in any of the either seasons. And the seeds are produced. Once the seeds are produced, they are scattered and the plant dies. Okay? So that means the life cycle, the lifespan of the plant gets over in a single season itself. The seeds germinate in the next season. The seeds which were scattered by the plants before death they germinate in the next season. And some of the very good examples of annual plants are paddy, sweet pea and marigold. Paddy is basically the rice. They are grown in the monsoon of each and every year. And if you talk about the sweet pea, during the winter they germinate or they grow. And the marigold that too can be seen during the winter. So the next is the picture of marigold and the paddy. That means is the rice plant. So students this is the rice and this is the marigold. So let's continue with the next type is the biennial plants. These biennial plants complete their life cycle within two seasons. Here by the name you would be understanding that it means bi means two. Bi means two. Okay. And annual it means the period. So two period it takes two time period. To complete its life cycle. Next thing is that what you will notice about these plants they fully develop during the first season. That means these what are the speciality of this plant these types of plants is that their root their shoot and this shoot part includes leaf branches and other floral parts. They develop during the first season and usually what you will find about them what you will find about them is that in the second season they start flowering and fruiting. What do they do? In the second season in the second season they start with the flowering and fruiting. So what I said during the first season their plant parts like root and shoot develops properly and they store the food in their body. Okay, they store the food in their body and this stored food they use in the second season to flower and to give fruit. During the winter time 
they go or they undergo the period of dormancy that means you won't see any significant growth during significant growth during the winter next that they includes both type of herbs and shrubs and the good examples given here is the cabbage and potato here you can see cabbage and this is the potato the next type that we are going to study is the perennial plants i'm sorry students that time i was uh by mistakenly i gave the ink annotation in the perennial plant so right now we are going to with uh, going to start with the perennial plants and in the perennial plants what you will see is that perennial means more than two seasons okay they are not seasonal these perennial plants basically they are not seasonal okay so let me start it again so they live for more than two seasons leaves and stem they die off every fall so usually every year the fall happens during the autumn season okay autumn is significantly known as the season of fall so every year leaves and stems of perennial plant they fall off during especially during the autumn then what you will notice is their root never die their roots are perennial they remain uh, under the soil maybe the leaves and the stem they die off but the roots they remain under the soil and since the root remains living alive under the soil it keeps on absorbing the food water mineral and keeps it stored in stored form and then it helps in the regrowth of leaves and branches during which season during spring okay so examples are ginger guava jamun oak so here i have given again two pictures of guava and one is your jamun this one is guava and this one is your jamun so that's all my dear children your task will be to uh write down the definition of annual perennial and biennial plants okay from the book and you need to draw one annual one perennial and one biennial plant in your fair notebook thank you